this is something that we worry about constantly. It happened during morning drop off at Comanche Springs Elementary School. A mom and her two kids were hit by another parent's vehicle. All three of them ended up going to the hospital. In a letter to parents, the school principal said the accident happened while it was still relatively dark outside. Don't be distracted because kids are hard to see as it is, especially with the number of large SUVs and pickup trucks that we have in our community. After stopping, the driver, the school said, pulled out and didn't see the family as they began crossing the street. The crossing guard was working a nearby crosswalk when the accident happened, the letter states. One of the children suffer a possible broken arm. Since August 1st, Tarrant and Dallas counties have each seen two active school zone crashes, TxDOT data shows. There's been one in Collin County, zero in Denton. It is important, especially during the hours of school going in or letting out, for drivers and pedestrians to always look around, look twice. I also use TxDOT's online database to pull more crash data. And according to those numbers, there have been eight crashes in active Fort Worth school zones involving 18 people this year. With just two months left to go in the year, 2022 has almost matched the data from all of last year when there were nine crashes involving 20 people. MedStar has noticed something similar. But certainly we're seeing more of an incidence this year than we did last year. But again, more kids are, are going to school and not being homeschooled this year. In Tarrant County. And slow down. I'm Ariel Placencia.